Lake City is a town located in Florence County. Originally, the area was settled by a group of Scots-Irish in 1736. Over time, the area became known as Graham's Crossroads, but in 1883, the town changed its name to Lake City, after the swimming lakes just north of town. In the early days, the town increased with the construction of the railroad. But, like lots of historic downtowns throughout the South, over time, that changed. As the train became less important and modern businesses were built elsewhere, the historic downtown eventually was forgotten, discarded, and boarded up. However, Lake City, South Carolina is different because it was able to bring its historic downtown back to life by rebranding itself as the artistic hub for the state. Today, the town is full of restaurants, shops, and art. Lake City is so beautiful that it's easy just to spend the first day just looking around. Murals are painted on the older brick walls and it helps to bring this town back to life with its vibrant colors and details. Another unique feature to notice is even though some of the buildings keep their original facades, they are filled with new and exciting businesses. The town has even managed to take the ugly parts of downtown and make them interesting, functional, and lovely. While here, make sure to keep your eye out for all of the artwork, especially the statues. What makes Lake City so special to me is that the town has improved and evolved, but it continues to remain true to itself and not forsake its past. For example, the bean market was once a building used to hold the largest green bean auction in the world, and now it's an upscale venue for parties and events. During our time here, we also enjoyed strolling the streets and looking for historical markers. This town truly has a unique history, including historical buildings, bank robberies, Victorian homes, and even a church that was burnt and rebuilt because of desegregation. While visiting a new city, we always enjoy looking at churches and homes. One of the homes we drove by is the Crockfield House, which is a registered historic building. What makes this house so interesting is that it was once the home of a cotton farmer, but in the future it will be renovated and become an African American museum. Unfortunately, Lake City does have a dark past as many southern towns do, in regards to extreme prejudice, especially against the black population. This played out in history through slavery and the horrific lynching of the black postmaster and his infant daughter. However, today, the black community makes up a large portion of Lake City's demographic, and the town is welcoming and friendly to all. Just like every town, it also has a good past, and the people of Lake City make sure to honor their heritage by keeping their town cemetery in excellent condition. While visiting cemeteries isn't something that we always do when exploring a new town, we decided to because of the unique and old markers which are visible from the road. 
In addition, while in Lake City, we paid our respects at Ron McNair Memorial Site, which celebrates the life of a local doctor who tragically lost his life during the Challenger Space Shuttle explosion of 1986. On a happier note, while in Lake City, I recommend visiting Tammy's, which is known for its cocktails, wine, and charcuterie. They are most known for their prohibition-style drinks, the Bee's Knees, which is a light, refreshing cocktail that uses honey syrup. While there, we found out that one of the ways Lake City was able to reinvent itself was through the philanthropy of one of the town's wealthy residents. This person dreamed of improving their hometown and making Lake City into a place people would want to visit. In my opinion, this person's efforts has paid off. It is so refreshing to see a downtown thriving and the local art bringing notoriety to this hidden gem. The town has even recently renovated a fabulous city park which boasts a picnic shelter, playground, and a walking trail. While in the area, I recommend stopping by the large cross that was built in 2016 because it is a sight to see. It reaches 110 feet into the sky and the arms stretch out 64 feet wide. It's an amazing display to behold, especially at sunset. I personally believe that it was built to help display to the passer buyers the faith of the people of Lake City. During our vacation, we also enjoyed riding around outside of the town in its nearby communities. This is the best way to see the beauty of the PD region. We enjoyed looking out across the flat landscape and imagined what it would have looked like in the 20th century when the area was known for its tobacco, strawberries, and green beans. We also enjoyed the peace of exploring these country roads where agriculture was king, looking at the old cemeteries and buildings. Besides agriculture, Lake City was once a popular place for people to come fish. Today, you can still charter a boat to explore the waterways. but. If you like looking at the outdoors without necessarily being outdoors, then you should head to Slabs. This western themed diner serves up the best brisket that we have ever had and the dessert is even better. 
While there, we sat in the back room, which has so many windows. The restaurant even provides binoculars for those people wanting to bird watch after they enjoy a meal. We actually found ourselves in Lake City because of the American Heritage Festival, which is an annual multi-era military event full of learning opportunities and fun. After visiting, we've decided we'll definitely have to come back to Lake City in the future. I would like to come back and do at least the following five things. The first thing I'd probably come back and do is do a kayak tour, which is known for its beautiful display of bald cypresses. Number two, I would really like to come back and visit during the Tobacco Festival. It's just the town's annual festival and it has a car show and a concert and really a lot more. Three, I wouldn't miss out on visiting Moore's Farm Botanical Garden. I hear that they have a lot of really cool festivals, especially an annual craft beer festival. I know my husband would love that. Number four, I would explore Brownstown Museum, which is a low country farmstead in which living history events are displayed and it has several old buildings, including a gin house. And finally, I would definitely come back to try and visit more of the downtown treasures, such as the Jones Carter Gallery, the Artfield Museum, and the Lynch's Lake Historical Society, which is a museum that caters to many early American exhibits. What do you think? Would you visit Lake City? Is there anything in Lake City that I left out that you love? I hope you found this information helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. And as always, thanks for watching.